Sexton was going to win that race with that start, no matter what they did to the track. I mean, there's just nothing you can say that start. Um, there's still a lot of controversy about that start. You know, he keeps saying that he saw the, 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 the gate wiggle, move, shift, whatever. Even if he um, cheated, there's no way of, of going about it because it's not like he wheelied over the gate. He didn't push the gate forward. So even if he cheated, there's no way of proving it. So therefore, no, no, it's no just there's no way you're going to prove it. But if you, if you've kind of kept your ear to the ground, go ahead, Leo. I have a personal experience about something similar to what happened to Chase at that start. In a race in Brazil from our national series, I was the same. Holding my clutch was a cable clutch Honda. In 2012, I was holding my clutch, and then sometimes the clutch starts to fade when you put the RPMs high and there's a new clutch, and maybe the mechanic didn't oil very well. And this, the clutch starts to fade and starts to get close to your fingers. And my bike starts to move too much. I hold, I was already holding the front brake, but the bike starts to kick. And suddenly the bike got out and started to move and jump the gate. At the same time, the gate dropped. So that was pretty luck. Uh, just luck. And Chase, he was talking about that in an interview after the race. He said, ah, I, I may saw the gate flinch or whatever. He kind of started to lose the clutch a little bit, started to let it go, and then the gate dropped and he went away. So sometimes it's just luck. You cannot cheat on that, on my opinion. Yeah. I, I know, but that's almost <clears throat> like winning the lottery on something like that because it happens that the chances of him actually hitting the gate and not hitting the gate is so minute to where even I'm, I'm just going to be devil's advocate for a scenario. If let's say you knew the gate was going to drop in four seconds of it going sideways, why in the hell would you tell any reporter from any magazine or anything that was like, oh, yeah. I, I counted, I'm going to give away my strategy. I found okay. out something that we have a system in place, whatever it could have been. Why would you do that? Because if it works again, the next time you're not going to give that to somebody like jet where arguably you can't beat them on a dry track. If you don't start in front of him, I would say that you keep your mouth shut. You absolutely keep your mouth <laughs> shut. Just say, ah, oh, it was, it was, it was luck. It was total well, luck. But uh, Johnny, the guy on the right, his bike moved before he reacts. If you if you watch the video again, I did a video on that on my Instagram. The guy in the right kind of flinched. When this guy flinched, he also moved a little bit, but he didn't release the clutch all the way to go. He just kind of flinched. And then the gate drop was he just started moving before the gate dropped by a, a millisecond. So I don't know. To me it was just a coincidence, but I can be wrong. <laughs> No, uh, of course. It's, it's all just speculation, right? It's all just speculation because yes. you got the whole shot and that's what it well, is here. I, I'm going to, uh, if you keep your ear to the ground this past week, and if you go back and I know it's a week now, you go back and you, you keep your ear to the ground and you listen to some of the comments on people who I would say are more in the know than, than we'll ever be. There's, there's a lot of speculation going on. Um, there was uh, one particular podcast that was talking about like literally stated a, a particular event and said it may or may not have happened in you know 1987 or whatever and i think that provides a tremendous amount of insight as to you know these things don't accidentally happen when it seems too good to be true um so you know there's uh, michael lassi rob michael yes. lassi used to pull great starts all the time i know but you it know, wasn't as good as it that it wasn't yeah, his yeah. elbow didn't drop as far as him getting on the gas yes. before the gate actually moved. It was just a lessy just having yeah. just the millisecond Quick of a, a thousands of a second better than everyone else. Mm -hmm. Um, I want you to go over Leo what you say here on your Instagram because I know it's it's in Portuguese, but this is what you were what you were talking about. Okay, I'm just showing his reaction. You can see his right elbow moves before the gate drops so he already got in the gas before the gate drops but to me the thing is he didn't release the the clutch actually in my video I just into getting people saying they think it's luck or was technique to me it was both technique with luck right but you can see uh i don't know someone just released a video from the left side this video is from the looking the right side you can see better but he reacts he, elbows moves before the gate drops to me that 
uh, he flinched. He thought uh, the, the guy on the right kind of moved a little bit, and maybe he thought, okay, the gate will, will drop. I don't know. When you are a beginner, I remember when I was, if someone moves in your side, you're moving too. After you get more experience, you start to focus more on your gate. You don't get you don't get confused by people moving your side. You get tunnel vision, and then you start to get good starts. That's technique also. But someone move a little bit in the right, and he also flinched. To me, was that my argument is if it was just luck. I mean, it had to have been just luck, or he was he knew something that somebody else didn't know because why would you risk just, Oh, uh, the bike is, is moving on me. I'm just going to let it go because he's got so much at stake with being the defending champion. If he was to hit that gate, there is no way that he would make up points on jet, but it was really the best case scenario with him getting a good start and jet getting lapped. So for me, okay, but in your opinion, you're not going to risk the biscuit. Go, go for it, Leo. Go for it. What could be? Say it again. What could be? You're saying, okay, maybe it wasn't luck. So what could be? Well, because like from a, a physiology standpoint, we've get interactions with what we see and then we've got to send signals to our muscles to then move. Like it doesn't happen instantaneous and having that gate drop at the exact time that he's already got his elbow down just seems physically impossible to where the human eye cannot pick up it cannot take that yes. much feet per second to 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 get it so if it is lucky then sexton uh needs to go buy a lottery ticket and in this weekend right okay. if sexton does not get the whole shot then it just proves that it was sheer luck. Like there was no technique involved. It was just sheer luck that I'm just going to say it right here. If he does not get a just massive start, then it well, was just a one-off thing. That's never going to happen again. It could certainly be luck. It could be coincidental. It could be like you say that one in a million. I'm not going to say who the text came from because I don't want to blow anybody out, but here was the text that was brought to my attention that maybe for the first time go, Hmm. The text was Rogers had the whoops cut down when Cooper couldn't get through them, and Sexton's riding for the same team that was able to get the whoops cut down, and he gets that kind of a start. It just raises a lot of eyebrows as to what in the world is going on. It just the, the question was correlation? Question mark. Now, again, I'm not there. I, I couldn't hear the hiss of the gate. I don't know if he could hear the hydraulic. But when you look at this is what was also articulated in the text message. When if you look at Chase, when he commits, there's not even that, you know, like when you think you might be going a little bit too early and you kind of double clutch it. If you look at the body language, the oboe drops and there's like zero apprehension that that gate's dropping and we're going. And I don't know, you just these types of questions. Um to your point, Leo, like when somebody flinches, usually you don't completely dump the clutch. You know, you're still yes. kind of had that finger on it. You're you're ready for that double clutch if necessary. And if you watch it in slow motion, as soon as the elbow drops, there's absolutely no trepidation. There's 100 percent commitment. And that was the question that was posed to me. The team has gotten has a record of getting things changed. And, and so I don't know. Uh, well, then why not, didn't AP get a good start then, too? Because he's literally right next to him. He's not the defending champion. <laughs> and you can guarantee could have potentially withhold information from AP and just give it to the second. Well, do you think Roger DeCoster was really pumped last year when Honda got all the attention? I mean, we know how the media works, right? Two years ago, Roger DeCoster could do nothing wrong and everything at KTM had the Midas touch. And then last year it took a huge paradigm shift to Lars and everybody at Honda. You think Roger's just sitting back in his office going, no problem, let him take it. Hell no. Roger cannot stand when they're not in the limelight. Right. Everybody in the chat is going to say like conspiracy know. theorists. Um, no, 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 no. I'm going off of the text message that was, that was the question and the challenge that I was asked to think about from somebody who was at the races that said it seemed a little too good to be true. And I'm like, hey, dude, I wasn't there. I don't know. 
and Cody, said, that's what brings all the the beauty to it yeah. and the amazement to it is that yeah. like it looked too good to be true but it actually happened like what were people saying when travis pastrana did the first double backflip or you know anything that has happened in moto that we didn't think stewart when he first did the bubba scrub like it looked too good to be true but then it started to become more of the norm and it's just it's a cool narrative that happens where we get to talk this much about some dude having a clearly 0, 0.0 second reaction time which yeah there could be some stuff involved however there's nothing we can do besides give them the benefit of the doubt because exactly. there is literally yep. no evidence pointing as to any somewhat implications of doing stuff shady-ish right it's yep. just it's just incredible. It's absolutely incredible that that elbow drops before the gate flinches. Like all of us are just incredibly jelly that we've never had a start like that. I remember uh, watching Sean Morgan. He was an old pro that used to race with Andrew Short. And he basically taught Andrew Short a lot of his techniques and that sort of. He, he was his, like a big brother, but he ended up getting into drugs and some stuff. And because he, he should have been a factory rider. He should have been. Uh, not just a privateer, but I remember watching him start and he would time it. But what he would do is he would time a gate and he would let the clutch out and he would wheelie as the gate was dropping. So he was literally four bike lengths ahead of everybody before, uh, bef before everyone just left the gate, which was how far, how far would he push his bike back, Johnny? Um, like, like there's no way there, there's no way he had his wheel right against the gate. How far yeah. back did he have it to get that wheelie going? Well, you could, you could pop. Yeah, so it's Honestly, I was Leo. You guys make a good point. I, I was a little kid at the time. I just remember yeah. seeing some of my heroes wheeling over the gate. So yeah, but with these things, there is no creeping because with professional motocross and supercross, there's literally a giant two by four at the end so that they can't line six inches to two feet to three feet back to be able to and get a moving start on everybody. But here, a small little break. We've got 200 people in the chat right now, and we only have 37 likes. Do us a favor, hit that like button. And yeah, yes, thank please. you. Hit yeah, that subscribe button please. too. Helps out a lot. Appreciate it, Jacob. But just no, I, the like. I button. do agree. You know. more, Go ahead. Just please. one more thing, Rob. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, sometimes when, uh, every, actually every time I went to a race, I would go watch the, the starts before and I would count how many seconds it took to the, to gate to drop, uh, from the, uh, to the gate to drop. And usually it's the same person who drops the gate for the whole event and they don't change too much from my experience. Mm -hmm. Let's say yep. one, two, three, four drop. Mm -hmm. Usually they use the same time. I, that's. That's, uh, don't explain what Chase did, but it helps you focus a little bit more. Okay, one, two, three, the gate will drop, maybe a little before, a little later, but that uh, period of time, you have more focus on it. So I used to do that. It doesn't explain, but it helps. No, I totally agree with you. And you guys are gonna have to help me out. Last weekend or at A1 at the 250 class, was it Mumford that hit the gate and then came all the way back up to eighth? I can't remember, Johnny, which team. Um, I don't remember, but a couple. I he, think it was Mumford. He was Honda, right? He's he Honda, got all yeah. the way up to eight. Uh, yeah. MCR Honda. Uh, that would be Mumford, right, on MCR? No. Gosh, why but, can't I think But of to him? Leo's point, I can't either, Johnny. I apologize. He's from Texas. He's a Texas boy. It's just like what Leo's saying. To me, it looked like he's like, all right, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a gamble because, you know, we know Tony Alessi is into trying to figure those little things out, right? That's what he's known for with his son. But yeah, I agree with you. It's like he just went and unfortunately he got hung up on it, had to back it up and had to go. Like you say, um, when you have a race like that where you're literally rolling the dice, just seems like it was perfect timing. And, and when he went, he was committed. And it's like, I'm either, it's going to be a hero or a zero, right? And boy, when he jumped out, he was gone. And like it was said in the yeah. chat room here, uh, yeah, it was Mumford. Oldenburg. Okay, thank you. And he ended and up coming back to eighth, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And 